I decided to go on this trip because I attended last year and so this year I helped plan this trip and basically just like partnering with the MLK Center and like the MLK Wildcats for Service, we've always wanted to do um, a chain of trips that outline Martin Luther King's legacy through the Civil Rights Movement. I definitely expected to learn things that I could only learn there as far as like hidden stories, stories that maybe aren't in every history book that you ever gonna pick up. Um, just those really local things that happen and efforts made people who sacrifice that we don't know about unless you go down there and hear about them. I was definitely excited um, about seeing the sceneries and the places that were actually part of the history, um, part of our history, part of the civil rights history, and walking along with my peers and my uh, and students and staff of the CCO just made it much more personal. Walking to uh, Kelly and Graham Park, Edmund Pettus, uh, Edmund Pettus Bridge just made the whole experience a lot more personal and I was excited to, um, to walk along with the people who did that before me. Um, I expected a lot from the trip. I expected, uh, personally, I expected to make relationships with peers that um, I previously had not known. Um, other than interacting with my peers and my fellows, I was really expecting to learn a lot about the people involved in the civil rights movement, civil rights history, as well as these places that were pivotal and um, civil rights history. I didn't know about the tent cities that were out there when people started getting evicted because they were like trying to stand up for themselves and I didn't know um, you know some of those markers like on that highway just being able to see it and even though we rode on the bus like we were where they walked and it just put it in perspective like that long journey that they had to take over those five days.
I was most excited before boarding the bus about seeing the Edmund Pettus Bridge. And I mean, part of it is because it's gotten so much hype in the past couple of years since Selma was released. But at the same time, um, just knowing about Bloody Sunday and everything that happened with that, like I really wanted to cross that bridge defiantly and as a free black woman in 2017. <laughs>